another one of my videos. This one is for um, Great Minds, Eureka Math, um, Module 2, Lesson 8, Problem Set. Um, this one is um, learning how to divide mixed numbers. And so you should watch the lesson before this. We kind of talked about it. This is just a continuation. Um, first thing in order to be able to divide and mix numbers, you need to convert all numbers into fraction form. Then you can write an equivalent multiplication problem, which is multiplying by the reciprocal, which is what we do. And then you need to reduce and simplify back into the form that you need. So let's go ahead and just start working with these. This is on page um, 38. So let's go ahead and look at this first one. So we have two fifths, um, two fifths divided by three and one tenth. Remember we talked about here, we get this. So three, we wanna know how many tenths are in that. We can figure out how many tenths are in that when we go three times 10. And a lot of times we'll just go here times and then add to that. So this would become 31 tenths. So 10 times three plus one would be 31 tenths. So our equivalent problem here would be 31 tenths. So I have my equivalent problem here, okay, of two fifths divided by 31 tenths. Okay, then we need to write our equivalent multiplication problem, which would be the reciprocal of 31 tenths and the reciprocal of 31 times by the reciprocal of 31 tenths, which would be 10 over 31. So we end up with 2 fifths times the reciprocal of 31 tenths, which is 10 over 31. Then we just multiply straight across, and we end up with, 20, 2 times 10 is 20, 5 times 31 is 155. You may have to do these calculations off the side, so if you want to take some time to do that, make sure you know how to do this. Then this will simplify. We can divide them both by 5 and simplify this down. If you can, you should be simplifying all these answers. It's always good practice to simplify these. Okay, the next ones I'm just going to kind of have working out again. This one, we have it on the front, so we'd end up with 4 times 3, which would be 12. So this will be 13 thirds. Now, again, this is when we're switching. We're still multiplying by the reciprocal of 4 sevenths. So we end up with 13 thirds divided by 4 sevenths is equivalent to 13 thirds times. Again, our reciprocal is always of the second fraction, the one we're dividing by. 7 fourths. So 7 fourths is the one we flip. Then we multiply straight across. So 13 times 7 is 91. 3 times 4 is 12. Now this one, they broke it back down. And that's one thing I wanted to talk about is if you are starting with mixed numbers, you should probably take your answer back to mixed numbers. Okay. If you're starting with improper fractions, you can usually leave your answer with improper fractions. But if your problem starts with mixed numbers, then you should answer with mixed numbers. So in this case, the best answer would be 7 and 7 twelfths, which is what that breaks down to. And if you are struggling with simplifying these, make sure you take some time to practice doing these. Get some help from me or your teacher. Make sure you know how to do these because it's very important you know how to go from improper to mixed and from mixed to improper fractions okay this lesson isn't necessarily on that so we're not going to take time there's some other lessons and stuff you can do to practice that okay so my next one here so we'd have to change this one to an improper fraction so three times six is 18 so that would end up being 18 plus one would be 19 six so we end up with 19 six divided by 9 tenths, which is equivalent to 19 six times. Again, it's the reciprocal of the second fraction, always. So 9 tenths times 10 ninths. So we flip that second fraction. And we talked about in lesson four, keep it, keep the first fraction, change the multiplication, keep it, change it, flip it. Keep it, change the multiplication, and flip the second fraction. And that ends up multiplying there, and we can simplify this 
by dividing them both by two, and then we could get our mixed number in here too. Again, the simplified one is what we really want to look for on these, okay? Trying to get them down to those simplified numbers. Um, but most likely, if I'm testing to see if you can multiply, I would probably accept any of these answers because you can multiply. But if I say simplify it, um, we would also test to see if you could simplify it maybe on a different question or something. So let's go ahead and look at this last one here, okay? The last one. Thing goes away. We start with five eighths. So we have five eighths divided by two and seven twelfths. So two and seven twelfths, again, two times 12 would be 24 plus seven would be 31. So we end up with five eighths divided by 31 twelfths. Then we end up with five eighths times the reciprocal of that, which would be 12 31st, so 12 over 31. Then we multiply straight across and then we simplify if we can. So this is just kind of a quick problem set to get you with some practice with these. There'll also be some con lessons you'll be getting from me if you're in my class um, to practice these. Make sure you know how to simplify those down. Um, but good luck with these. Let me know if you have any questions and if you're struggling with these. Have a good day. Bye.